morning everybody today I actually I got here last night after almost 24 hours of a bus ride it was a very very difficult to get here I had a lot of problems uh, going uh, I mean taking some bus the long route up and down to make it short I got here uh, this is Yelapo I've been here before so I'm here to see my friends I met them last night we had a chat so we have a meeting today this you know so to see what we'll do Anyway, this, this train is not new to me and I'm uh, familiar with this place and a lot of villages around. This is a city village called Yelapo and there's a lot of city uh, villages around this neighborhood. So I'm going to see them uh, later on today and so we're going to decide what we're going to do. I'm very glad to be back here, you know, among my friends that I know. So very, very happy to be here today. Okay, this is my first day in Yelapo. You know, we're going to be... I can actually they live in a village not far from Yerapo. They're gonna come and pick me up by 10 a.m. I'm going to the marketplace and see uh, if I can buy some milk for my morning cafe. Thanks, guys. Bye. On Santicopa Village, it is about 12 kilometers or 7.4 miles in the deep forest near Yerapo. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. Do <laughs> No? Why not? No? Do Yeah, say hi. It's crazy. Can you tell me what they what what they're doing right now? This is the green mango actually. Uh -huh. So they are going to cut it as a small pieces. They will dry it outside. And they will keep in the house. They will use that on up to that to the piscari and other these things for daily use in the rainy season. Yeah. Oh, wow. Rainy season they will use most. Oh, the baby. <laughs> I decided to give it a try. Be careful. You can cut your finger. My fingers, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they insisted that I stop. They knew if I make a simple mistake, that blade will not forgive me. Most of the time, I'm the one asking questions, but now I'm being asked. So she's having some questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what's the question? Kai kaam ni chal la lao. Sang mani sang. Sang mani sang mo. Tell me, what's the, what's your question? So she was uh, not knowing that uh, uh, she don't know about how she came here. How? From Africa. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So mm -hmm. then uh, she come to know here it is difficult life. Oh, in in this village. In this in village. The, in India, part, yes. in this uh, yeah. city life. Yeah. Region okay. and uh, there is no education, nothing. That's true. So mm -hmm. then uh, how she can go back or what support she can get from the other countries like Africa? Okay. That is her question directly. Tell her I'm gonna bring her back. We are going together. 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 We uh, we have a place is just like this, exactly okay, the okay. same. Okay, okay. Yeah, she has a lot of money. 
she will she will adapt easily. Mm. If she want a city life, mm. that's we got that too. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll adapt karunge tat kete. Genge tat mjale. Sir pade karunge tat tencha jati. That's good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least at least she want to know actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. How do you say thank you again in company? Yeah. Thank you. Deo baro karo. Deo baro karo. The education is the, is the main thing of here. Yeah. Definitely. Education only makes the men to be perfect. And here, you know, due to some environment and uh, uh, people are really staying in the remote forest. Yeah. They are totally adjusted to the forest environment mm. and this local environment. So they don't want to go to the outside. Like yeah. uh, they don't want to go to the city yeah. and study. Okay. So and the environment made them like this. So if they really go to the outside, yeah. like a bigger city, if we go, they go to the, some hostels and stay there, then they get the different environment yeah. and they can able to study. Here, if they start, go to school, little bit they will go few years and they will just discontinue. It's it's just just proper, discontinue yeah, yeah. and they don't want to go at all. So yeah. they many stay in the, the same environment. Them, yeah. yeah, even my, so many relatives, families, I can see in my eyes. They are uh, discontinuing. After that, they don't want to go at all. Even though we convince them, we try to motivate them to the go to school, no. They just don't want to go back. That's the reason. Maybe in the school, what may be the situation, in this school, uh, the teachers are belongs to some other community. You know? I see. There are no black teachers. They are not encouraging them to... They are not encouraging. Okay. And the children who are studying in the schools, they are from good family. They are the, like, uh, you know, like a Brahmins. Yes. They yes. are talented. Yes. You yes. know, once you are uh, uh, studying in the classroom, these, uh, our uh, children are very low in education. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't know. It has to start from ABCD, but they still getting difficulties. Yes. But the Brahmin students, they are very clever. Yes, yeah, yeah. So they can't compete with them. Yeah. And the because teachers, they grew up in education environment. Definitely, yeah. yes. Yeah. And then the teachers, what they do, they will neglect. School teachers, they will neglect this because these are the, uh, like, you know, they are not talented. Yes. See, these, they are not talented. And they're not the, important to them either. Yeah, yeah. Brahmins, they are talented. Then uh, these children also, they feel bad. Sometimes teacher may beat them, you are not studying and all these things. Then they feel this is very bad. The system itself is bad. So then they will uh, discourage themselves and they just don't want to go to that system. Then uh, entire uh, system is collapsing like yes, this. Yes, okay. And you know, educated some of the Siddhis who were doing in the good jobs mm -hmm. in some other cities like uh, some of them have become police officers now many of them are working some cities so they just don't want to come back to the community so once they go out from the village they settling in some good cities they are getting the salaries they are having their own families they don't want to come back at all it means here there is a harassment or something you go here near some uh, government office mm -hmm. or some other work if, for example, if I go there, being a Siddhi, educated Siddhi, they underestimate me also. They look down on you. Yes, yes because, you yes. know, just because of the caste, yes. they don't know what yes. qualification I have. Yes. They think what Siddhis are. Siddhis means they have something in their mind. Siddhis means like a third class fellow. He is no use at all. So, he is not talented. He is just a uh, waste. They are drinking and roaming around. So even in the such community, if somebody is graduated and really studied well, and if he has an equal position of others, like some we are advocates now, many of us advocates, they just treat us like a local person. Then we have to tell them, no, we are educated, we are so and so graduate. Then some of them they can respect us. Respect you a little bit. But most of them still they will think, no. Yeah. This may he may lie. Yes, yes. yes. Not sure. Something like that. So that situation makes everyone to be feel bad about the system. And uh, whoever going to like Bangalore, some Goa, some other cities, they just don't want to come back because where we are uh, outside, what respect we are getting, we are not getting here. So that is the reason. Yes, yes, yes. That is the reason educated who is getting uh, who is working and uh, having good job and all they don't want to come back 
to, 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 to come by and invest yeah. it today. Yeah, obviously. because here no value. That is the reason. The same thing is applies to the students also. They are going to the school, they are not compete, able to compete with the Brahmin students. So, so that teachers discourage are blaming them. Yeah. them. Teachers are blaming them, discourage them. Then how they can study. You see. Wow. So that is the only remedy for this. They have to leave the village, go outside and study them. Then their discrimination and all will not come. You see. Wow. Yeah. That reminds me of blacks in the United States of America. Many blacks in America get more respect outside of America than inside of America, which prompt many of them to immigrate to many parts of the world, especially to Africa. But for Africa, it is called the homecoming. The next question is, if uh, those young, young girls see this, if they dropped out of school, or they dropped out of college, what do they do? See, they just... Uh... They are wasting their time here, okay? Uh, to work somewhere, they are uh, not uh, fit enough. They are small, small in the age, and uh, they will not get the work, and their education also low. So they are just wasting their time here. That's all. So they don't do any, because there's nothing to do for them. Nothing to do they for just them. roam around. They just roam around, and they are wasting their time. Otherwise, they can, uh, even though they are school dropout, mm. they have the many options, you know. They can go back to the school and yeah. they can write the exams. If the yeah. subject is backlog, they can still write and they can clear. So now education is not that much difficult. Yes, right. But the only the environment made them like this. Yes, make them that that don't want to go back to school. Yes. That is all. Most of them. Even in my family, so many. I am helpless. Yes, yes. Most of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what what do you think about Africa then? Africa, what kind of country is that? Africa, what kind? Africa, we are much like we are. About Africa, she knows through the media. Oh, that the land is there, people are there. Only through media and elders they speak about uh, Africa. So that only she come to know about Africa. And uh, she is proud of the Africa and uh, the, all the people are united there. Like that she want to be still. Like that, that life she wanted to lead here. But due to some technical reason it is not possible. That's what she is. So mostly the media don't project positive in Af about Africa. They only project negative. <laughs> negative. At least you only see the positive side, which is good. <laughs> Yeah, at least, at least she's seen the best, the good one, which is good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, bye. Yeah. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> If you like this, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because many more videos on the way. Thank you.